All right, this is my test run of Fedora Budgie Spin. <clears throat> Excuse me. So basically, I have this running HDMI out of a bare bones laptop. That's you know, it's actually running on hardware to test it out. So let's go through and see what we got. The Budgie desktop looks really nice. I've always liked how it looked. I, I sometimes would run into issues with it, but I wanted to kind of check back in to see how it's running, you know, after it's been out for a while and Fedora has some updates. So if we click the little Fedora icon, you can see that under accessories, you've got archive manager, Budgie screenshot. Let's try Budgie screenshot. Takes a screenshot, saves it in your photos, easy enough. What are these other buttons for? Copy screenshot to clipboard, I like that. What's the default application? Can you edit it? No, I don't think so. But if you have an editor, you could pass it to that, I'm assuming. Move to trash, okay, cool. Let's go back to accessories. You got calculator. I think everything just looks really nice. The window decorations look really nice. It's just really modern looking, I love it. I really would love to use Budgie as a daily driver. It just needs to be more stable for me. But maybe it is now. I don't know. It's been a while since I used it. I would love to try to use this as my daily driver. It just feels like what I want Windows to be like. Let's go back to accessories. You got disks, files, G-Edit. Great text editor. I love G-Edit. Passwords and keys. I don't know. I just use um, Bitwarden personally. Eye of the Mate Image Viewer. Cool. <laughs> um, Thunderbird, I really don't use that anymore. All of the support, Mozilla, Nags, I, I'm, I'm kind of sick of it, I'm over it. I like Mozilla. Office. Okay, sound and video, parole media player. Not very familiar with that, but simple, simplistic, I like that. Let's go back to sound and video. Got Rhythm Box. I am familiar with that. I love that one. System Tools. Okay, I want to see what Budgie Desktop Settings looks like. Because I've checked this out a long time ago. And Widgets. I like how this area pops out. Like when you click the notification panel. If you click uh, right here, you got notifications. Anything that you that has to report a notification will appear under here, which is really nice. It feels very well polished. Widgets. Let's see. Can we add some widgets? Uh, material dark. Material light. Let's see if we go back here. Does it look different at all? Oops. Hit that bell. There we go. Okay. Widgets. Devices. Okay. Don't really know what I'm doing, but let's see. Or can we add some widgets? Can I right click on the desktop and do anything? Budgie desktop settings, that's where we're at. System settings, let's go there. Let's just click this and type widgets. W I D. Would you think about that for a second? Ah, sorry, it's, it's late. Okay. Well, I'm not going to mess with this too much. Control weather, windows, and controls use animations. They do. You, you know, you can see they look pretty sweet. So you could turn that off. That I like that. Let's go back here and turn it off and try it out. See what happens when you minimize a window. It just disappears. Nice. I, I, I don't know. This feels solid to me right now. It's running better than I remember it running months ago. And... I, I don't know. I, I might try this out some more and keep it on my computer, actually. And, you know, install all of my apps, synchronize my browser, like Vivaldi, and just see how this runs. Because this is really impressive so far. I'm, yeah, granted, I haven't done much, but I'm not going to use Firefox, even though I wish I could for everything. Just can't. It just slows down after a while for me. I don't know what it is, but great browser. I think it needs to stay around. Because Chrome is taking over the world, the internet, every browser is Chromium based. Maybe I'll stick with Firefox again. I do have a Firefox account, a Mozilla account that I sync to. 
and I like it. Oh, I don't know. It's so hard. It's so difficult. Okay, so we're going to go back here to System Tools. Let's go to Budgie Control Center. Oh, that's where we were at, okay. That's just called the Budgie Control Center. Okay, I got it. Cool. I just love this, how this is all laid out. It just seems really well thought out and looks looks pretty, you know. It's just nice. And they're still working on it. They're improving it. So this isn't much of a video. I just want to thank you for watching. Maybe you want to give the Budgie Desktop a try. This is the Fedora. If you go to Fedora... Dot org, I think it is, slash spins. Let's try that, fordora.org slash spins. Is that the site? Just type in Google or startpage.com, I think is where I found it. Type in Fedora spins. And it's fedoraproject.org spins. Okay. I was close. So fedoraproject, that's the domain I was at. But right down here at the very bottom is Fedora Budgie, and that's the one I downloaded. And it's beautiful. I love it. I'm going to try these other ones. I'm going to try Sway. I'm going to try i3, which is right here. I've never tried a tiling window manager. So this is going to be like a video where you can kind of laugh at me. And, you know, when I record it, it's going to be me using a tiling window manager for the first time. I don't know if I'll be able to do it, but I'll give it a shot. I'm open-minded. Thanks. Have a great day.